at the third stroke, it will be 9.59 and 20 seconds. And we'll tell you how you could be the new voice of the speaking clock. Third stroke, it will be 9.59 and 20 Coming seconds. Coming up, your chance to become the new voice of the speaking clock. Now, he's been listened to a billion times, and yet you've probably never heard of him. Brian Cobby has been the voice of the speaking clock for 21 years. Well, Brian is hanging up his headphones, and if you would like to be his replacement, now is your chance, as Rajesh Merchandani explains. At the third stroke, the time sponsored by Accurist will be... Could you be the new voice that tells us the time? At the third stroke, the time will be 6 o'clock precisely. At the third stroke... For 70 years, the speaking clock has chimed in with proper clipped tones. Hello. Now, to mark that anniversary, the current voice is being retired at the end of the line. And there's a nationwide contest to find his replacement. And that could mean a regional accent. We're phoning up. I'm so posh. I wonder what he looks like. And I thought, well, I'm not even... <laughs> the time will be 6 o'clock in 10 seconds. Or for charities, whoever's picked for the job this time get a place in history and an audience for years. And a successful voice certainly won't go unheard. Last year, we made some 70 million calls to the speaking clock. At the third stroke, the time will be 6 o'clock and 20 seconds. To enter, you need to leave a voice message on a special phone line. Some of the proceeds go to children in need. The winner will make their debut in the new year. Rajesh Merchandani, BBC News, precisely. <laughs> it's easy to take part. You'll find all the details on the Children in Need website. The address is www.bbc.co.uk forward slash pudsy. Good luck. <laughs>